in our previous session we have seen about bitwise operator and we have understand bitwise and or not and xor now in this we are going to continue the bitwise operator and we are going to learn about right shift operator now right shift operator is represented like this okay we are having this two greater symbol and what happens in this shifts will be shifted from left to right for right shift operator bits will be shifted from left to right okay the reverse of that so most of the time we get confused with this symbol and also when i started this at the very beginning even i used to forget this i was not able to remember this symbol so the simple way to understand is okay, this is right shift operator so when we make c symbol in our right hand so that place let me just show you you can see this particular c symbol whenever we are making just remember this okay the symbol will be like this okay opening mouth will be this side okay this is our right hand this is the c symbol so it represents this symbol okay just remember in this way and now here i am having four bit number okay that is five okay it is representing five in our previous session we have seen how to find this binary number okay this first bit it is called as most significant bit msb and this is called as least significant bit okay and this value is representing five so now as we have seen in right shift bits will be shifted from left to right so now if i just show you an example if we are having one screen now basically we are typing this on screen for screen this will be the right side and this will be the left side but when we are typing for this okay this will be our right side and this will be our left side but in screen this will be the right side and this will be the left side okay opposite of that when we are standing in mirror our left and right position will be changed so in the same way when we are typing anything on screen or when we are writing on paper the left and right side will be changed but here this will be represented whatever shift and whatever it is represented using our hand okay using our position not the screen position using our position this will be represented so now this is our right hand side as i told you this will be shifted from left to right so now our left side is this one so bits will be shifted from left to right like this so if you see this example it should be shifted from left to right this arrow should be coming inside of this one so just remember like this whenever we make c symbol in our right hand side it will be representing like this okay this will be our right shift operator and this bit should be shifted from left to right which means left to right this arrow should be coming like this left to right and this left and right is our body position not the screen position it will be our body position left to right like this but for screen it will be right and left but in this right shift operator we will be representing our body and we will move the bits from left to right so what happens in right shift operator when we are shifting the bits from left to right this zero this first bit will be coming here zero then we will shift this one we will receive this one then we will shift this one we will get this but this last bit we are just going to remove this one and this instead of this one we will come here and we will be putting here zero okay let it be one or zero here at the starting we will be putting zero okay so don't get confused i am just shifting one bit here okay i am just writing this example this msb will be shifted 
then after that this number will be shifted then this number will be shifted but this lsv it will not be shifted okay again if i shift here i will be getting the same result instead of shifting this lsb we will just remove this one and one number will be added here and that is zero okay let it be one let it be zero here zero will always be added at the front so for this after shifting we will get the result as 0 0 1 0 and our result will be 2 okay this represents 2 we have already seen 2 power 0 2 power 1 so 2 power 1 will be 2 our result should be 2 okay let me just erase this and just explain you again and it will be represented like this and bit should be moved from left to right so we are having msb most significant bit and least significant bit and this binary number represents 5 now let's just shift one bit okay we will be writing these are called as two operands and when we perform left shift or right shift we should be having two operands for this first operand it will be converted to binary number and whatever number we are having here based on that the bits will be moved now i am having only one so this zero will be moved one one time then this one then this zero and finally we are having only one bit here so this one okay this last bit will be removed and in place of this this side okay this is our this will be our left side and this will be our right side as i told you bits will be moved from left to right so it is moving from left to right left to right left to right and at the end on left place this zero will be added so now this answer will be 2 because here it is 2 power 1 2 power 1 is nothing but 2 if you have not understood this one no problem we are going to see one example then you will be having a clear idea on this okay now here now we are having this another example 10 it is right shifted by two positions so 10 binary number is converted here and we are having two positions so we will be moving two and also from lsb we will remove this two zero will be shifted here this one will be shifted here and at the starting we will be adding two zeros and the result will be two okay, for this also we have got the result as two and for this also we got the result as two okay, as i told you this will be our left position this will be our right position from here it will be moving and at the end this will be added here okay only zeros will be added here Now this is our another example. Let me just open my VS Code editor and inside that let us understand this example and we will see the result first. After that we will solve that problem. Now below this let me just write here right shift and it will be represented like this. Let x is equal to 10 and let y is equal to 2 let z is equal to x right shift y log and inside this i just want to print z okay we have seen the answer we got is 2 you can see the answer is 2 now if i just change here 5 and if i give here 1 i will save this the answer is 2 if i just give here 2 let us see what we will be getting i will come here If I change for 5, now here, let me just check this one. This 2 will be moved here. I will be getting 1, 0, 0, 0. The answer should be 1. Let me check this one. I will save this. Now you can see the answer is 1. This is how we will be solving this right shift operator.
okay now this is our problem i have just given value of a a is equal to 200 and in binary number 200 will be represented like this okay, i'll just copy this one i will just write this value here to find this one i'm just going to open this first link now you can see this is 200 so binary number of 200 is this one now what i have done i am just shifting one position so we have seen the answer will be like this so only the lsb1 will be removed and that will be added in the front 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 okay this will be our result okay by mistake i have just removed that let me just add 0 1 1 0 0 1 0 0 okay now here i am shifting to three positions so this three will be removed and three zeros will be added at the front 0 0 0 then we have this zero will be moved here i will be writing 1 1 0 0 then finally we are having one position should be moved so this zero will be removed from here and zero we are just going to add at the front zero then this zero will be pushed here zero 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 one one zero then finally we are having two positions okay two things will be removed so this and this will be removed and rest all we will be there and two zeros will be added here zero 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 zero, zero one one I have just added one. I should I should be I should not be adding one one here. I should just be removing this one. So rest will be this one, and I should be having seven zeros. Four, five, six, seven. Okay, this will be the answer. Now, if you see here, this is related to two hundred. Then, if we calculate this, we will be getting the answer as hundred. Let me just copy this one. You can see the answer will be 100 so this will be related to 100 now again i will just show you one trick so that it will be easy for you now whenever we are performing right shift operation okay right shift so whatever value we are having here that value we have to divide by 2 based on this number okay whatever number we are having here how many steps we are just going to perform it depends on this number now here i am having 200 so 200 divided by 2 i will get the result as 100 so my second result will be 100 and we have performed only one step this is the first step because here i am having one now this 100 we have to perform three times and we will be getting the result now and always we have to divide by 2 itself. I will get the result as 50. Then 50 divided by 2. I will get 25. Then 25 divided by 2. I will be getting around 12.5. I will not be considering point. I will just take here 12. So now if we just take this answer. 8 plus 4. The answer will be 12. Now after this 12. We just have to perform one step. Now I'll just come 12 divided by 2. I should be getting the answer as 6. Now for this, the answer is 6. And finally, we are having two steps here. Again, we just have to perform these two steps. 6 divided by 2, I will get 3. Then 3 divided by 2, I will be getting 1. Okay, point I am not going to consider. I will get 1.5, but I am just taking 1. So, the answer is 1. Okay, this is the simple trick. We just have to divide by 2 and whatever number we are having here, based on that, we just have to perform the steps. Okay, for first one, we have just performed one time and we got the result as 100. Now, for this 100, we will be dividing 3 times. Okay, this 3 times. So, 3 steps we are just going to perform. 100 divided by 2 always we will be dividing by 2 we will not divide by 3 then finally 3 steps so 3 steps will perform and will get the answer then for this 12 only one step 
so here 12 by 2 i'll get 6 and for this 6 2 times 2 times i just have to divide by the answers i will get the answer as 1 okay this is the simple trick to find the right shift operator answer you can do in this way and also you can do in this way okay you can just shift from left to right okay this is all about right shift operator if you understand the simple tricks how you have to find this symbol from where you are moving this positions which bit has to be removed then it will be very easy for you to solve this right shift operator problems okay the same tricks goes to left shift operator but for that the trick is different okay that we are going to understand in next session and we are going to learn about left shift operation okay before that let me just give you one simple problem here i'll just give here i will be giving here let me just write here 7 i will remove this Four a is equal to a into five. A is equal to a into one. Solve this problem. If you have got this answer, then you can just paste this code in the comment section. Okay, I will be checking this one, and also you will be having practice if you solve this kind of problems. You can get answer by either shifting this one anything you can just perform okay next session we are going to learn about left shift operator